We heard this morning some beautiful music on the piano. Wouldn't you love to know how to play the piano? Who would like to know how to play the piano? Oh, you already know. Awesome. Okay. So if we wanted to know how to, if we wanted to learn how to play the piano, what do you think? Girl, spread out a little bit. Yeah, let's spread out a little bit. What do you think we would need first? If we wanted to, if we wanted to take the piano lessons, what would you need first? You need a piano, okay. I saw online today, and probably Joan can tell me, but I saw a piano for $700. It's probably not the best piano. It might need a little work, but $700 I saw one. What would we need next after we have a piano? Let's start with the piano teacher. Okay, the piano teacher we need next. We could teach ourselves, but it probably wouldn't be as good as if we had a piano teacher. So I saw there's about $25 on the average for a lesson. What do you think? Okay, $25. You probably should take one every week, so what would that be for a month? $25 a week. $100, exactly. There's our $10 that we $100, okay. All right, next, Melissa said what? What do we need next? Piano books. Piano books now we need if we want to learn. So maybe about $15 a book. Joan, what is it? $15 a book. Joan is our resident expert because she is a piano teacher forever. <laughs> yeah. So $15 for a book. Okay, it's adding up here. I don't know. Well, you'll have to get more, you're right. After you get out of book one, you'll have to go to book two, book three, book four. Okay, it's starting to add up to learn how to play the piano. Yes. Well, that was what our that was what our hundred dollars was for. That was for the teacher. Oh, more money. Oh, every month. You're right. Every month we would need more money. You're right. There's something that we really need next that doesn't really cost any money. But it's very important to all of this. Time to do what? To do what? And practice. To practice. Exactly. How much time do you tell your students, Joan, that they should practice a week? What do you think? Or a day? A half an hour a day. So if in a half an hour a day you have to give up to practice, because what's the sense of having the piano? Paying the teacher and having the books if you don't practice. What kind of things might you have to give up to practice? What might you have to do? You might have to give up doing what? Maybe a club after school? Maybe what, Henry? Yeah, like video gaming or or doing something with one of your friends or maybe even a practice for one of your sports. So that doesn't actually cost money, but that's something you really have to give up. And yes, you, you, you would probably, but I have seen people who have played the piano with their feet. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So you wouldn't necessarily need hands. It's amazing, but that's, that's a good thought. You need, you need some kind of part of your body that could do the keys. You are correct. You are correct. So our scripture today, Jesus was talking to his disciples, and, they, and he said, it's great that you want to follow me and want to learn about God, but you're going to have to give up some things. You might have to give up, like the fishermen left right away and left their jobs. You might, not, you might have to be away from your families. You might have to give up some time with your friends. So we get so much more back in return from God and love, but God asks us to give up a little bit too in order to follow what God wants us to do. We may have to give up some things that we like to do that maybe are not the right things to do. So loving God is free, but there are some things that God expects of us. So something. And discipleship is one of those. Let us pray. Dear God, your love is there for us. All you ask in return is
is for us to choose the right things, to listen to your word, and to take your love and spread it to others. Amen. And I have one more thing for you since we started school. I have a special thing that I want each of you to have. And it says on here, this is no ordinary pencil. This pencil has been uh, prayed over with you in mind. Keep this pencil in your desk or your backpack or wherever you want for when you are sad or having a bad day or just need help in doing your work. Oh, you have no pencil. That's not going to be very good. There you go. Let's switch. You can hold this in your hand, close your eyes, and know that God is always there to help you out in whatever you do. And I'm going to have this in the back, so I invite any of you to take some. I would like life to have this, or someone in your family, a neighbor. I invite you to take some to share the love. Amen.